Let's take a trip back to the dissonance in the five chord in a five one. Remember, the five one sounds like this. The dissonance came from these notes as they moved to that note. And again, one of the ways to understand how two notes relate to each other is just to count the number of keys on the piano between them. So we have between here and here, one, two, three, four, five keys. So what happens if we go five keys above this note? Well, one, two, three, four, five takes you to here. But this note is the same note as our original starting note. Again, they're the same because it's whatever note is to the right of these three black keys. So whether we play this or whether we play this, we're still playing the same notes, but now the voice leading is gonna be a little bit different. The way these resolve to our settled home chord is inward, but the way these resolve is gonna be outward, but it's still just by one key. This one goes down like it did before, this one goes up like it did before when it was here, but now because it's on top, instead of compressing the chord, it expands outward by one step. Still sounds nice because we're not moving very far. One interesting thing about these five chords when we form them, This is a type of five chord called a dominant five chord. And a dominant five chord has that interval in it of one, two, three, four, five notes on a piano in between. And this spacing here is called a tritone. It turns out that there are actually two dominant chords that have this tritone in it. The first one is the regular five chord that we were using to set up the one chord. Five, four, three, two, one. But there's another chord that has these notes in it as a tritone that is also a dominant seventh chord. And that chord sounds like this. This chord has this tritone in it. And this tritone then can still resolve smoothly in a nice way to here, just like it did before. But now we can play a different chord, which has the tritone, and still resolve it in a smooth way. So that sounds like this. Doesn't sound quite the same, but one of the innovations of bebop is to really increase the use of these alternate chords. So instead of playing five, one, we're going to substitute this chord. So a chord progression that may have this five chord, something like anywhere we have this chord, we can use this other chord that uses this tritone and substitute it, a chord substitution. I didn't really resolve that very well. That may or may not sound good to you, but one of the things about bebop, which can be hard for the listener, is sometimes the emphasis wasn't on whether it was going to sound good to the listener. It's whether the notes you were going to play were kind of mathematically consistent with certain chord things that had to be happening. So if we say that the, the necessary thing to set up this home chord is that interval, then as long as we play this tritone in here, then the rest doesn't matter because the numbers work out. Uh, and then eventually some people really gain a taste for that. So when we play this chord, instead of this chord, before this chord, there's a special name for that, which is the tritone substitution. It's not called a tritone substitution because 
we're switching the chord that uses this tritone for the other chord that uses that tritone, although that would be a good reason. It's because the first chord is built on this note, and the second chord is built on this note, and the distance there is also a tritone. One, two, three, four, five keys in between. So the tritone substitution is a really different sound and it sounded just as different to people who weren't familiar with bebop as it was being invented as it might to you right now. It was one of the ways to create a musical outgroup. If you switch all your fives to tritone substitutions, already it makes the music harder to understand, harder to hear, and then harder to play for the musicians that aren't in the know in bebop. So bebop, is interesting from a musical standpoint by looking at what features were added to or what features were taken away from the existing musical foundation in jazz at the time. The tritone substitution is an important major addition.